lady. Uh, me and my friends, we ran out of grub and water. Wonder if we could get a few supplies. There's a town five miles back the way you came. Why didn't you stock up there? Well, we didn't go through town, ma'am. We went around. That's right. We're on the run. Oh, now don't scare the lady, Marks. It's like he says, ma'am, only, uh, we ain't real bad. It's just that town got kind of sick of us and, uh... What do you want? Some grub, water, a couple of baits of grain for the horses. You'll find grain in the barn. I'll fix some food for you. No! Don't come in the house. Fine-looking woman, Kirk. Don't you pay no mind to the woman. Let's just load up. Load up and get. Why don't you and Kirk take the horses down the lake, water them? I'll be right along. Mind that you are. Yes, sir. Real fine looking woman. She's dead. If we get caught, it means hanging. I'm riding out, and you better come along. <laughs> well, wait a minute. We didn't do anything. No. No, we never done nothing. And you tell them that when they put a rope around your neck. some of that sweetener. You don't want any of that truck. What's the matter with that truck? Hey, Paul. Not now, Hoss. But, Paul, I... Not now, Hoss. Hey, little Joe, I left all my money in my other pants. Let me have two bits, please. Right? Hey, what for? Well, I'm only getting some of that sweetening. Sweetening? You're gonna get fat you start eating that stuff. All two bits worth of it ain't gonna make me fat. The heck it won't. You'll found your horse. You'll break him right down the middle you load up on that kind of stuff. I ain't gonna break my horse down. I ain't gonna find another horse. Give me two bits. Don't blame me if you get in trouble. Thanks, sir. Oh, thank you, Jack. Hey, Jack. Now, yeah. give me about a dime worth of jelly bean. Right. Better give me about a dime worth of them red hots. All in the same sack? Yeah, just put it all over here. Yeah. Hey, give me about a nickel's worth of them molasses over there. Them molasses is good for you, Tony. You're gonna need one. <laughs> Little Joe, you get yourself a haircut while you're in town. Oh, I just got one a couple months ago, Pa. More like three months ago. Just get your hair cut. Here, Button. Go ahead, Hank. What'd you do that for? I don't want to found on my horse. Ain't you going with us? No, he's staying in town to get himself a haircut. Now, Pa? Right now. I don't want any son of mine going around looking like a cheap riverboat gambler. Now, you got to cut real short, do you hear? Adam, you see to it. Oh, oh. There ain't a proper barber in this town. They're all a bunch of engines. <laughs> They're going to really scalp me. Sorry, scalps you. Adam! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the matter? 
My wife. Benny? How did it happen? Three men did it. Prospector down by the creek saw him leave. Joe, get the sheriff. Yeah. Boys inside are talking posse. Johnson's gone to see about burying his wife. He sent his boy to find Piute Scroggs. Guess Piute's about the best tractor we got around here. Piute Scroggs is a gusty old windbag. Who's heading the posse? Guess I am. Don't want to, but I'm not the sheriff. The sheriff's out of town, so I guess it's up to me. Hey, Adam, why don't you and your brother come along? No, manhunting's not our kind of work. Well, I know that, but the Cartwrights have always been real friendly with the Johnsons. Maybe you can talk some sense into it. You don't think if they find them three fellas, they're going to bring them in alive, do you? Well, now, it's your job to see that they do. Well, I can't. Not alone. Help me, will you? All right, get the horses. <laughs> then you're going? Yeah, I hate to see Flynn Johnson do something he'd be sorry for later on. Come with us, Adam? Yeah. Good. Well, Pio thinks we ought to pick up their tracks down by the creek where the prospector saw them. Flint, you sure these are men you want? What do you mean? Well, only just because a prospector saw them near your place doesn't mean that they're the men that killed Vanny. They're the ones. You about ready? Soon as they're wet, my dry. All right. We'll be leaving right away. What do you think will happen to them three fellows when we catch up with them? Sure, man. You mean you don't know what'll happen? Well, I'm asking, ain't I? I guess we'll kill them. Doggone. I ain't never killed nobody before. No, me neither. Well, I guess it has to be a first time. Yeah, I guess. Say, uh, my name's Timmons. Most folks call me Buck. Charlie Buford. My friends call me Blue. Howdy, Blue. Howdy, Buck. Looks like they're heading for the ridge up yonder. Well, let's get after them. for the dry lands. I got to shine the mosey on down to McSween's Roadhouse. We can water and bait up there. We're not going to waste time in that hog ranch. They're already six hours ahead of us and riding hard. Listen, Mr. Johnson, I led more posses and hung more men than you can count on both hands. Let me tell you about them fellas. They're running. They know we're after them. They're pushing hard. They're wearing their horses out. They're wearing themselves out. We'll just take it easy, and we'll catch up with them in plenty of time. Adam, what do you think? I don't like it. The longer we keep these men on the trail, the harder it's going to be to handle them when we catch up with what we're after. If they get whiskey at McSween's, it's going to be worse. <laughs> Maybe Piute's right. I think we'll lay over a little while at McSween's. Seems like me and you are thinking alike. Um, let's go. 
gonna be hard to bring them men back alive. All right, lead out. Hey, Leo, got some friends with me. Why, pay you to old dog. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Looks like we got company. <laughs> Come on, Leo, give us some music. Keep moving! You're gonna kill the horses if you keep running them like this. Look, I'd rather kill the horses than me. Now, let's go! Now, wait a minute, Blackie. The kid's right. We get set afoot this part of the country, we're all finished. And besides, there, there ain't nobody chasing us yet. Don't fool yourself, Schuster. They're behind us, all right. I told you we should have killed that prospector. I'm sick of killing. I'm getting pretty sick of you, too. I got a good notion to turn around and go back. All right, go back. See what it gets you. A rope around the neck, that's what. You think those fellows are gonna take us back? Listen, I've ridden on a few posses in my time. They get all licked up, and after a while, when they catch up with whoever they're chasing, they're snake mean and ready for hanging. I know. I've been there. He's right, kid. Come on, now, let's go. Hey. Hey, you think the Palmer brothers? They killed a storekeeper out in the California diggings. I led that posse just like I'm leading this. Took us four days just logging, jogging along before we finally caught up with them. Time we did, everybody was so hot and saddled galled and sick and tired of the whole business, just hung them right on the spot. How does it feel to hang a man, Paiute? Oh, it feels prime. You feel all dreamed out, good and lazy. You'll find out. And we catch them three up ahead, huh, Paiute? You tell them, young'un. Hanging's too good for them. When I think of that poor Mrs. Johnson, like I always say, men ain't nothing but dirty brutes. Well, ain't they? Yes, ma'am, I, I guess so. You boys got mothers, ain't you? Well, yes, ma'am. Where would a man be without his mother? That's what I want to know. Where? Well, I don't know, ma'am. Mothers is the Lord's sweetest gift on this earth. That's why. And mothers is women, too. Don't you forget it. No, ma'am. You just remember that the next time you go around beating up on women. Well, we ain't beat up on no women yet, ma'am. Leastways, I ain't. Well, me neither. Well, I wouldn't think of doing such a thing. Ah, oh, now. You are good boys, ain't you? I declare, I wouldn't mind being your mom myself. Yes, ma'am. Come on, Lil, let's have another drink. Okay, I... <laughs> I kind of wish I hadn't come on this picnic. Wonder if Pi was right, that the way you feel when you hang a man. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah. I don't know. I was just listen to that lynch talk in there. I don't know what makes men act like that. Yeah, they can get mean pretty quick sometimes. The liquor they're drinking doesn't help any. Sometimes it's a pretty sorry thing to be a man. What do you think we stand? I don't know. I think Flint's got a lot of poison building up in him. When we catch those three men, it won't take much to turn us into a lynching party. Pyute Scroggs is sure working them up for hanging. Uh, yeah. yeah, here's to you. <laughs> Hope I have another meeting. <laughs> I tell you, Pot ain't right going on like this. You're gonna stop it, Pot, and get these men out of here. We'll get them out. When I think they're ready. Ready for what, Pa? Ready to take care of your mom's murderers the way they ought to be taken care of.
Jeb. Hey, Adam. I think it's about time we had an understanding. You are in charge of this posse. Why, well, sure I am. Maybe you know that. I don't know any such thing. You've been hanging back and letting Paiute Scroggs and Flint Johnson take over. Paiute's had a lot of experience in this kind of thing. Paiute's had a lot of experience leading lynch mobs. Well, what do you want me to do? I want you to take charge of the posse. You don't really think they're going to let Jeb take over? Well, might as well let them know where we stand before we go any farther. You now you Cartwrights don't like the way things are being run. You can pack out. We don't like the way things are being run, but we won't pack out. This is a lawful posse. Yeah, and we're going along to make sure it stays that way. You're trying to pack a lot of weight. We're used to packing a lot of weight. Yeah, well, you're not the Lord Almighty. Any man can go under. Well, you put me under, Paiute. Now, he's off, boys. Adam, we've been friends for a long time. Don't spoil it. Don't push me too hard. I won't push you now or any other time, Flint. But I won't back off either. Now, Jeb, I want you to take charge of the posse. You want me to try and plant? Yeah, you try. Hey, you got a long life of sin and wickedness ahead of you, Paiute, if you take care of yourself. Right now, you're being just plain foolish. I won't fight both of you. Now. All right, boys. Have it your way. Clanton, you take charge. A spell won't be for long. Probably got somebody reading our sign right now. Have a drink of water, Black. Get your dirty fingers off that water bag. I've never seen a man go through water like you. First you drink yours, now you're trying to drink mine. Can't help it if I get thirstier than most Blackie. It's, it's a condition. The doctor back in Virginia City told me. Said I got a real bad condition. Well, you can wait for water till we get to Pinell Springs. Pinell Springs? Blackie, that, that's 10 miles away. I, I can't. Then suck on a pebble. Think about water till we get there. You. Where are you going? I just quit running, Blackie. Are you out of your mind or something? I was, but I ain't anymore. I must have been out of my mind to start running from something I didn't do. What are you gonna do? Just sit here and wait for him? Maybe. Maybe I'll ride back, meet him. Maybe they'll listen to me when I tell them I had nothing to do with killing that woman. And maybe they'll hang you first. Be ready to listen when you're dead. I'm tired of running. Then you must be tired of living. I don't kill as easy as that woman, Blackie. You going with him or you want to stay? Blackie's right. I, I don't aim to try my luck with that posse. Both of you on your horses. Right out. Bush. 
how you fellas are suffering. I'm suffering along with you. I'm just as tired and dirty and saddled gold as the rest of them. Smell just as bad and maybe a little bit worse. What makes me suffer more is thinking that maybe it's all for nothing. Don't you think we're going to catch him, Piot? Sure, we'll catch up with him. But what comes after it makes you sick at your stomach. Well, what comes after, Piot? Oh, they turn him over to the deputy and take him right back to Virginia City for trial. And you got to have a judge for trial. Circuit judge won't be around for four or five months. Man, won't them fellas have a time waiting for that trial. All them women coming in there, bringing them pie and cake and white bread and all that stuff. That all you fellas don't have but once a year, and maybe that's at Christmas. And them preachers, man, well, they shine. They'll be praying and exhorting all over the place, and them town women will come down there, and they'll be singing hymns, telling them all about their moles and their sisters. <laughs> About two days before the trial, they'll be converted. I tell you, it'll take more than a jury to convict them after a thing like that. You mean they'll let them go? Bless you, boy. Them murdering devils would have killed half the women in the territory and scalped them to boot. Nobody's said nothing about it, because people forget to get mad enough to hang people proper. Of course... Oh, with uh, Debbie Clinton here and uh, three or four others I don't care to mention, we can't, we, well, we're just not allowed to do that. Out of here. Are you crying for your mom? Can't a man cry without somebody poking at him all the time? Yeah, sure he can. It's just that sometimes it helps to talk about it. You know, I can't talk to you. Because you and your brother are against Pa and me. No, we're not against you, Billy. We're just going along to make sure everything is done right. Will you tell me, is it right to let free the men that killed my ma? Look, nobody's going to let those men go free. Yeah, well, that ain't what Paiute says. Well, Paiute's a liar. Look, we're just going along to make sure those men are punished according to the law. Well, that ain't enough. Look. Look, it's my ma that's dead. And it's Pa and me, the ones that's going to fix them that killed her. And you ain't going to stop us, little Joe. Because if you do, somebody's going to get killed. Please, go away. Will you go? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, nothing exactly. I just wanted to talk to you. And I'm bone tired. Let me sleep, will you? Adam, this is important. <laughs> all right, what is it? Where's all this gonna lead us? What do you mean? Suppose we catch up with those men. Suppose Flint Johnson wants to hang him then and there. What do we do? Fight. We fight against Flint and his boy that have been friends and neighbors for years? If necessary. Oh, well, I just don't think it's necessary. All right, I'm listening. Fanny Johnson was a good woman. The men that killed her were rotten. Now, I just can't see going up in a gunfight against friends to save men like that. How do you know the three men we're chasing are the ones that killed Vanny? Everybody knows that. Nobody knows anything. Vanny Johnson was killed. Three men were seen riding away from the Johnson place. Now, that doesn't prove they were the ones that killed her. Look, what if we knew they were guilty? Suppose we knew for sure that they were the men that did it. Nobody knows anything for sure. Let me get some rest. You get a hard day. What's it look like, Pilot? Well, 
looks like they're mixed in with a bunch of wild mustangs. I can't make out them tracks. What do you figure we ought to do now? Well, we ought to split up. Some of them take the draws and some of them the ridges. And you see the signs of the tracks of a shod horse let out a hoop or shoot a gun? Well, that makes sense. All right, you men, split up and do like Piote says. Hey, you better come along with me, Piote. I ain't such a good tracker. Here, Pa. Here, here's what they turned off. That's a shod horse track if I ever saw one. Wait. I was just going to signal the others. Shoot! All right, come on. But drop your gun first. Ah! <laughs> oh, he was giving up. He was coming in to surrender. He was going for his gun. He's only a kid. He ain't much older than me. Yeah. He won't get any older. We came up on him. He went for his gun. I had to kill him. That's what I'm going to tell him. You're going to back me up. He's one of the men who killed your ma. Like you say, Pa. He went for his gun. That's enough. You're wasting time. The man deserves a decent burial. I said that's enough. Why'd you kill the boy, Flynn? He started to make a fight of it. I think he was coming in to give himself up. I think you shot him deliberately. I still say you Cartwrights don't swing much weight around here. All right, we're leaving the posse. But we won't be responsible for anything you do. Come on, let's mount up. You and Horse hunted this country, didn't you? Yeah, what about it? Where's the nearest water from here? Well, where we watered last night. No, I mean the direction those other two are heading. I thought we were going home. No, not yet. I'm going to try to reach those other men before the posse gets to them. Judging from this man's canteen, they should be pretty low on water. Yeah, well, that'd be, uh... That'd be Pinnell Springs. That's about 11, 12 miles from here. Is there a shortcut? Yeah, over the ridges and through some lava country. It's pretty rough on the horses. We'll give it a try. Rest up here a while. what I ever drank, well, the best tasting, but it sure is wet. Just, just a little, Blackie. I always figured you were a selfish old man, Schuster. First you drink your own water, and now you want to drink all mine. Just a, wet the lips. No, 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 I told you, hey, no. Blackie, you, you're the meanest man I ever did know. You're worse than a hydrophobic skunk. You ain't fit to live. <laughs> 
You getting any ideas, just... I never meant it that way. Well, I think I better take your gun. No, I just... Now you ride on up ahead. I can't. I can't go on without no water. My condition. You move on. Or your condition is going to be dead. Here's where they spell the horses. Them tracks pretty fresh. They'll be needing water. The nearest is Pinell Springs. How far? Oh, about 10 miles, the easy way through the coolies and draws. About half that distance across the ridges. That's too rough to ride. Uh, we'll take the short route. You're the boss. Shuster, there's your nice, cool water. Next one's for you, now drop your gun! I right, come and get me if you can! Hold it. I gotta have water. Hey, you'll be dead before you reach it. Get in there. Are you coming out or do we have to shoot you out? What have I got to lose staying here? A few more months of living. You come out now and I promise you a fair trial. That's big talk with a hanging posse right behind you, mister. Who are you? I'm Adam Cartwright and there's no posse. Just me and my brother. Do like he says, Malachi. This will be my neck. You'll go into that new side, yours. No deal, Cartwright. Come and get me. So I hit on down behind them rocks. Cover you from there. Kill that woman, he did. I, I gotta have it. I gotta have a drink of water. I got a condition, a bad condition. All right, get it. third man. It can't happen, Flint. I don't believe you'd fire on a friend to protect a murderer. I'm getting him. You make one more move and I'll blow you right out of the saddle. What are you trying to do? This man's my prisoner. I'm riding him into jail and I'll fight any man who tries to stop me. Jeb Clanton is the authority here. 
Jeb Clanton hasn't got the courage or the will to protect this prisoner, we'll be riding out at dusk. You'll never make it. Well, where do you stand, Jeb? Well, I'm asking you to turn over the prisoner like Flint said. Schuhofer? Well, I'm for law and order, but I ain't taking up gunplay against my friends and neighbors just to protect that killer. I'm quitting and riding out. Good luck. your speech. Sounded real good. You think you can back your brag? There's no brag. <laughs> it's so funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> Kid brother tells me they killed the boy back on the trail, right? So? And Schuster. Schuster got it right outside going after that water he was always yamming about. <laughs> you know, I told him. I told him that thirst was going to kill him. And it surely did. I'm waiting for the joke. The joke? Both of them dead, who didn't do nothing. And me, I'm alive. And I done the killing. <laughs> they wasn't even there. Just me, I'm alive. And you, you're gonna keep me this way. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you alive. <laughs> See you hang. Legal! Are we fixing to sit around here all day? You said they were taking off at dusk. I say we go in and get them. Them cart rats won't dare open up on us. You don't know much about the Cartwrights, do you? I ain't afraid of any Cartwright that ever walked. All right, Paiute. You go on in. We'll follow. Well, now, uh, maybe we don't see eye to eye about this. Uh, I ain't bloodthirsty. Um, I'd hate to see them two misguided boys get hurt. You gonna watch me hang, you Cartwrights, huh? You ain't gonna watch nobody hang. Yeah? Don't you think I got friends? Oh, I got lots of friends. I've been in lots of trouble for this. I always get out of it. You know why? No witnesses, Cartwrights. No witnesses. The hell let me go. I just found enough out of you. <laughs> no, you ain't. I got my rights, Cartwright. I can talk. I can talk as much as I want. So, Joe, what are you saying about maybe going free? I don't know. It's up to a jury. If he's found guilty, he'll hang, won't he? Yep. And we know he's guilty, don't we? Just what are you getting around to? I was just thinking how much easier it would be if we just gave him to those men out there. But we can't do that. Yeah, I know. A man can wish, can he? Cartwright! Cartwright! What is it, Flint? Let's call it off. You can take the prisoner into town. We'll come along just to see he doesn't escape. How do I know you'll stand by that agreement? Well, I'll give you my word and hand on it. Jeb Clanton backs me up. That's right, Adam. Shake hands with Flint. Save us all a lot of trouble. Well, before I come out and take your hand, I think you ought to know something, Flint. The two men you killed were innocent. They had nothing to do with killing your wife. How do you know that? A man in here is the killer. He admits it. The other two had nothing to do with the murder. Now, you'll have to face a hearing on those killings. I'll make sure of it when we get back to town. I'll stick to my word. Oh, my God. 
I turn him loose. Marks, get over here. All right, get inside. Now, like my brother said, we're taking that man back at dusk. Don't try to stop us. Time now. Where do you think you're going? I've had enough. I'm pulling out. Me too. They lost the edge, Flint. You can't hold them. I think I'll mosey along. You too? Mr. Johnson, I'm an old man. I wouldn't be no use in a shooting match of them crazy Cartwrights. I'll see you around, maybe. I think it's all over. Hey, you're a couple of good boys. If you'd known my wife, you know what kind of a woman she was. Well, you think I'm right, don't you? Well, I guess so, Mr. Johnson. You'll stick with me? Yes, sir. I guess we just about have to, don't we, Buck? Yeah, I guess so. As you see, Billy? We got a couple of friends. We're gonna get the man who killed your ma. It's like we planned to. We're gonna get him, we're gonna kill him. Son. Wait. I guess I had enough to kill him, Pop. Seeing two innocent men killed. Was enough for me. All right, come on. Wait a minute now. They're waiting out there for us. You should have known sooner or later there'd be a day like this. Let's go. Uh, there he goes, Flint. Take a good look at him. Where's your boy? Never mind him. I want that man. You'll have to kill us to get him. There's been enough talk. Get mounted. Where's your son, Mr. Johnson? I said leave Billy out of this. Why'd he ride out on you, Flint? If the boy had any feeling for his pa, he'd stand with him at a time like this. Why'd he leave you? Maybe he got sick of looking at a man that led a lynch mob, huh? All right, Cartwright. This is the end of any friendship between us. Two men dead. Friendship's broken. A man parted from his son. I hope you boys remember that. Look, don't blame us, mister. We just came along to see the fun. Well, you've seen it. 